Recipe for Easy Beef Empanadas We'll show you how to make the greatest beef empanadas you've ever had, with a tender, flaky crust enclosing a filling blend of warmly spiced ground beef and vegetables. These quick empanadas are pure handheld perfection, with golden pastry, an easy homemade version that we'll show you how to make, wrapped around a meaty beef filling. We like to make a party out of the process of creating empanadas, therefore they're one of our favorite party meals. Is it insane that we think filling and folding these charming little pockets is enjoyable? Make the dough ahead of time and let everyone put it together themselves. While they're baking, grab a beer and prepare to dig in. That's the kind of gathering we enjoy. What is an empanada? Empanadas are dough-based, crescent-shaped savory pastries filled with a variety of fillings. The filling for empanadas can range from beef, chicken, pork, tuna, seafood, cheese, or vegetables, all of which are seasoned well and baked or fried to perfection. What are empanadas made of? Empanada fillings vary greatly from nation to country, for example, in Puerto Rico, an empanada might be filled with sofrito-laced ground beef, whereas in Mexico, an empanada might be filled with shredded chicken and corn. However, there are a few commonalities among all of this diversity. Empanadas are little dough pockets comprised of the following ingredients. On the outside, a simple, handmade dough. A protein, typically pig, chicken, or beef, but occasionally fish or cheese, is stuffed inside. Empanadas usually include one or two simple vegetables, such as maize, chopped potatoes, or carrots. Finally, they're generally spiced with warm spices, such as cumin, or even cinnamon, or chili peppers. Our beef empanada recipe includes a hearty mix of ingredients, including Boiled potatoes and ground beef Onion, celery, peas, and carrots are just a few of the vegetables on offer Garlic and a smattering of warm spices To keep the ground beef empanada filling from drying out, add a splash of beef stock What is the composition of empanada dough? According to the internet, store-bought pizza dough can be substituted for homemade empanada dough we're all for shortcuts, but in this case, preparing your own empanada dough is the way to go, no there's alternative for the real thing. Homemade empanada dough is actually just a simple pastry dough, you can create empanada dough if you can make pie crust. All you'll need is Ice water, flour, salt, and chilled butter, egg. We use chilled butter in this handmade empanada dough recipe because the steam it emits during baking creates beautiful, flaky layers which are exactly what we want in our empanadas. When working with room temperature or melted butter, you'll get a firm, unforgiving crust. Tips for making homemade beef empanadas include the following. To help seal your empanadas and to brush on the outside after filled, use an egg wash. They'll have a nice golden brown crust with a little egg wash. To ensure that all of the wonderful ground beef filling stays firmly inside the small crust pocket, Place your ground beef filled empanadas on a hard surface and firmly press the sides together with a fork. Refrigerate the prepared ground beef empanadas for 20 minutes on a parchment lined baking sheet. If you're making the empanadas ahead of time, now is the time to freeze them. Don't be put off by the dough filling procedure, it's supposed to be enjoyable. It's a terrific opportunity to get the kids in the kitchen and put their many hours of play dough sculpting experience to good use. Is it possible to make empanadas ahead of time? Cover the tray of unbaked empanadas and refrigerate for up to two days to make these potato and meat empanadas ahead of time. When you're ready to eat, bake them for 40 minutes at 400 degrees. They'll come out of the oven absolutely brown and steaming, just like they did the day before. Do you require additional time? These handmade beef empanadas freeze beautifully. Once you've finished filling the dough and forming the empanadas, place them on a baking sheet as if you were going to bake them, but instead of placing it in the oven, place it in the freezer. Freeze overnight, then transfer to an airtight freezer bag with a zipper closure and keep for up to three months. When you're ready to consume the empanadas, simply place them on a parchment-lined baking sheet and bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. Where do empanadas come from? Empanadas, Spanish for wrapped in bread, are little replicas of typical Spanish meat pies. While the fillings, sizes, and cooking methods differ from nation to country in Latin America, they all begin by stuffing pastry dough with savory ingredients and baking or frying them to flaky, golden brown perfection.
because they are baked rather than fried and use ground beef instead of shredded or cubed, this beef empanada recipe is most closely similar to Argentinian empanadas. Hands down, the best beef empanada recipe. What were your thoughts on it? Aren't they the finest beef empanadas you've ever had? Please share your filling, baking, and eating experiences with this simple handmade empanada recipe. Ingredients 1 large russet potato, peeled, diced into 1 4th inch cubes. 2 tablespoons olive oil. 3 4 pounds ground beef. 1 half medium onion, grated. 1 small carrot, grated. 1 rib of celery, finely minced. 2 cloves of garlic, minced. Half a teaspoon chili powder. 1 teaspoon ground cumin. Half a teaspoon ground cinnamon. 3 4 cup beef broth. 1 half cup peas. Half a teaspoon salt. Half a teaspoon pepper. Crust. 2 and a half cups all-purpose flour. Half a teaspoon sea salt. 4 ounces unsalted butter, chilled and cut into 1 4 inch cubes. 1 large egg, room temperature. 1 third cup ice water. 1 egg, beaten for egg wash. Method. 1. Pulse the flour and salt in a food processor to make the pastry dough. Using a food processor, pulsate the butter, one big egg, and ice water until the mixture forms coarse crumbs. Form a ball out of the dough. Refrigerate the dough for at least 30 minutes after tightly wrapping it in plastic wrap. 2. Prepare the filling as follows, fill a medium-sized pot 3 fourths full with water and bring to a boil. Add the cubed potato to the pot and cook for 3 minutes or until cooked. 3. Meanwhile, heat the olive oil in a large skillet over medium heat until it shimmers. Combine the ground beef, onions, celery, and carrots in a large mixing bowl. Cook for about 8 minutes or until the beef is browned and the vegetables are softened. Drain the potatoes and combine them with the ground meat mixture. 4. Cook for one minute longer until the garlic, chili powder, cumin, cinnamon, and beef broth are aromatic. Stir in the peas and continue to cook over medium heat until everything is well combined and the liquid has been absorbed. Salt and pepper to taste. 5. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and position the rack in the middle. 6. Remove the dough from the refrigerator and divide it into 10 equal portions each weighing about 2.2 ounces. On a lightly floured board, roll each piece of dough very thinly until you have a circle about 7 wide. Working with one dough sheet at a time, spoon a heaping one-third cup of filling onto one side. 7. Combine the beaten egg and one tablespoon of water in a small bowl. Using an egg wash pastry brush, dampen the inside 14-inch edge of the dough. Over the filling, fold the dough in half. Firmly push the edges together with a fork. Repeat with the remaining dough and filling, and place on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. 8. Brush the egg wash over the tops of each empanada until completely covered. Preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for 35 minutes, or until golden brown.